We're gonna start by pouring all of our delicious fruit into a giant mixing bowl. We got fresh chopped strawberries, green grapes, beautiful blueberries, red grapes, blackberries, and my kid's favorite, raspberries. Mix everything to combine. Now we're gonna get our beautiful watermelon. We're gonna slice the top off here, just like that. Take the little hat off. And with a melon baller, we're gonna scoop out some of these beautiful watermelon balls here. All right, now that we have our watermelon balls, we're gonna put this to the side. Scoop out all the insides of this watermelon. We are gonna dump the juice directly into a blender cup. We're gonna add this back, but first we have to blend it. Look at how perfectly hollowed out this watermelon is. Now we're gonna blend our watermelon juice in our little single serve blender here. Pop it down and blend. Once our watermelon juice has blended, we're gonna strain this into another bowl here. Just gonna pour it directly over a little sifter here. Looks like we have about one and three quarters cups here. We're gonna take this to the side. Now for our gelatin mixture, we're gonna pour two cups of water into our bowl here. We're gonna pour in about six packets of gelatin. And we wanna mix this around. Now that gelatin has bloomed, we're gonna turn our heat on to a medium, medium high temperature. And we're just gonna heat this up until the water turns clear and all that gelatin is dissolved. Now that all of our gelatin has been dissolved, we're gonna turn our heat off. We're gonna pour the gelatin into another bowl where we're gonna mix it. We're gonna sweeten with about two tablespoons of honey. That looks really good. Just give that a nice little mix. And now we're gonna add our watermelon juice back in, and this is gonna cool down that mixture so when we add it into our watermelon, it's not gonna burn the fruit. And we're just gonna mix this up for a good 20, 30 seconds. Now we're gonna bring our fruit mixture back in. We're gonna put those watermelon balls on top and we're gonna mix these up. I put those watermelon balls in the freezer for just a little bit to get them nice and firm so that they wouldn't smush when I mixed everything up in here. We're gonna scoop our fruit back into our watermelon here. I think we have the perfect amount of fruit to fill this thing to the tippy top. Now we're gonna pour our watermelon jello mixture on top of everything and it has cooled off just a little bit so it's not gonna burn the fruit inside and the perfect amount of gelatin to top it off. We're gonna put the hat back on our watermelon, pop this in the fridge for about six hours, come back and we're gonna have some delicious watermelon jello. All right, you guys, it's been about eight hours and this thing is done. Look at how beautiful that looks inside. We're gonna go ahead and cut into this beautiful watermelon and try it out. The moment of truth, you guys. Look at how beautiful that looks. You can see all the fruit in there, the strawberries, the grapes, raspberries. We're gonna go ahead and cut ourselves a slice and try this thing out. And look at this, you guys. That looks beautiful. Let's try it out. Mmm. That is delicious.